Hello and welcome to a delightfully sunny Germany where we're here to test this, the all new Suzuki Jimny. And here are five things you really must know about this small SUV. And remember, if you're in the market for a small SUV or any other new car, check out our new car buying section on whatcar.com for savings on hundreds of new cars. The first thing you need to know about the Jimny is that it's a proper old school 4x4 underneath. That means a separate ladder frame chassis, live axles front and rear, and long travel coil spring suspension. The great thing about that is that this thing should prove to be virtually unstoppable off-road. The bad news is that on the road, it's severely compromised. So we'll start with the steering, which is designed to stop kickback on rough and rutted tracks. So that's great, but on the road, you can move it an awful lot before anything really, really happens. Now that means that it can be a little bit tricky to place it on the road at speed. The soft springs also means that if you get to a corner, you get lots and lots of body lean to the point it feels like a ship in the sail. Now, if you get a few imperfections and potholes, it does patter around and start to get a little bit upset. But actually, on these smooth German roads, it lollops along quite comfortably. Um, your head does get thrown around a little bit, but actually, it's not too bad. What's more of a problem is the engine. You see, this little 1.5 litre petrol engine really is very, very vocal and sounds quite gruff. Couple that with a five speed rather than a six speed gearbox and you've got a car that at 60 miles an hour is pulling 3000 RPM and making an awful lot of racket in the process. If we were able to get this up to motorway speeds, I don't think it'd be particularly pleasant at all whatsoever. The engine might be gruff, but what's it like when you put your foot down? Well, it's flat out in second and it gets very, very, very noisy and there you go there's 60 miles an hour isn't particularly rapid either so we know that the Suzuki Jimny is unrefined doesn't like corners and is at least for the most part quite comfortable not a particularly brilliant road car in other words question is can it be any better off-road it's time to take it into its natural habitat and that's off-road. So the ladder frame chassis, the live front and rear axles, and that three-link suspension means that this, although tiny, is a very, very capable off-roader. So already we've come off a gravel track onto this winding little route through the forest. And you can see in the cars in front, the suspension is working hard to keep all four tires absolutely planted on the ground and it's also got electronic diff locks that basically nip at the brakes to stop wheels from spinning. And at the moment, it's an absolute walk in the park. The uh, high ground clearance and chunky tyres mean that uh, you're not worried about grounding it out and that four wheel drive system does mean it pulls up inclines very, very easily. It does still feel like we're only scratching the surface of what the Jimny is capable of. And, well, I think we need some slightly tougher terrain. So we're now moving on to a more challenging section where, I don't know if you can see, we are at quite a um, noticeable angle. And we're also going over a few bits and pieces that are testing the suspension out. So you'll notice the car in front properly flexing over these uh, big bumps and the uh, live axles and three link suspension means that again the tyres are staying welded to the ground. A Dacia Duster may be very very good and probably a little bit cheaper than this but even that doesn't have the same level of wheel articulation this has or the low ratio gearbox that makes crawling along these quite tricky trails pretty easy and so we've now got a bit of an ascent quite a tricky looking one so our instructor's keeping an eye out so you'll probably hear his chirpy german tones in a second but we've got a blind drop for you. coming up here at the of the stick. Steer a limber to the right a little bit more and let it just roll down 
So feet completely off the pedals, just on engine braking there, up and down like a mountain goat. After trying the Jimny off-road for a while, there's no doubt that this is a very impressive little 4x4 machine. The way it can cope with steep ascents and descents and ford quite deep water whilst going over pretty hefty ruts really is truly impressive. And if you do need genuine four-wheel drive capabilities, there really isn't anything at this price point to beat it. However, the question is, how much of your time do you really spend off the road compared to on it. Stepping inside the chimney, there's ample room for a couple of adults up front. I do wish there was a bit of padding here for my elbow on the uh, armrest here, and I indeed just wish there was an armrest in the center here. But this is a small cheap car, so you can't have everything. In terms of the driving position, it is worth mentioning that the steering wheel adjusts up and down, but doesn't come in and out, which could be problematic for some taller drivers. What is good is you've got a couple of cup holders there and a glove box that's big enough for the manual. You also get a tough grab handle for your passenger, a nice shelf here for your mobile phone, complete with a USB port for charging and a 12 volt socket as well. The controls are nice and chunky, so you can use them with a gloved hand apparently. The infotainment isn't quite as impressive, so it looks very aftermarket in its design, and it can be a little bit laggy when you're prodding it. Still, you do get smartphone mirroring as standard and sat-nav on the top SZ5 trim. As for the quality of the interior, it's solidly put together, but you'll notice lots of scratchy plastics that don't look particularly attractive. But then, given that this is likely to be a £17,000 car and comes with all that off-road hardware underneath, that has to be corners cut somewhere. The Jimny is a strict four-seater with a 50-50 split rear bench. Strangely, for this size of car, you can actually recline the rear seat to give you a bit more headroom or to let your passengers have a snooze. Now, the backs of the seats are covered in a hard-wearing plastic material, but does mean your luggage slides around all over the place if you do corner enthusiastically. What have we learned about the Jimny today? Well, it's built like a proper 4x4 underneath, which means it really is very accomplished in the rough stuff. Now that does mean it is compromised on the road, but that is to be expected with a ladder frame chassis and live axles. Now inside, it looks pretty funky, but it is cheap, but very, very hard wearing. We dare say that 20 years on a farm and it's still gonna be much the same inside as it is now, just a bit grubbier. However, what is a problem is rear space. Now, the front, there's enough room for a couple of adults, but the rear seats are best left for children and the boot is a bit of a joke, if we're honest. If you wanna know our full verdict on the Jimny, go to whatcar.com for our comprehensive review. And don't forget to check out our new car buying section for big savings on thousands of new cars. And of course, if you like what you see, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well.